this is Sharon's here. I am so glad you joined me today. Boy, I have got a great subject for you, sweetheart. The anti-aging, do we fight it or do we just accept it and go on, okay? Well, I'm going to give you both sides of the picture here and let you make up your mind what you want to do. First and foremost, what brought me to this subject was, if you remember in my last video, I told you I was going to my dermatologist appointment this week, another mole check, and talked to her about some other uh, treatments and things like that. And remember, I told you I had a, a, a little bitty age spot there, and I was looking for all these little bitty things. Well, when I got in there, all of a sudden, I had a bunch. I went through some cryotherapy. Cryotherapy is liquid nitrogen. And as you can see, I look like a little spotted leopard. I've got a few up here and a few here too, but this hand is really covered because we put a magnifying glass <laughs> on my hands. I bring it with me. That's how I handle I am. And I point out every little place. You see what I'm saying? So I said, no, that could be an age spot in a few days, but especially by the end of summer. I don't care how much sunscreen you put on. I don't care whether you love wear gloves when you drive. Just walking out, and I swear, they hit our hands before anything, and I don't do that. You know me, I've got to have spotless hands. Well, spotless everything, but you know, we're going to start with the hands, okay? So, anyway, um, I want to explain to you, first of all, about cryotherapy, if you've never had it done. They uh, take this little wand-type instrument, and inside of it is liquid nitrogen, and they point to the little age spot, and it freezes it, so to speak. Now, a few days later, and, and I'm not trying to gross you out, but they do form, well, they form them that night. Little uh, pustules everywhere, you know, look like blisters on your skin. You just keep Aquaphor on them, and then, of course, you keep very mild soap. I'm not wearing any bracelets right now, or really any tight-fitting clothing in the hands and arms. And it takes about a week to two weeks, and what happens is they just form little bitty scabs, and actually... You know, when you're washing your hands, scabs just fall off and voila. Man, you are age spot free and girlfriends, it's a piece of cake. And my insurance pays for it, so <laughs> hello, I'm going to get zapped every chance I get. But I was talking to my derm and I said, you know, it seems like this is a fighting battle. And she looked at me and she said, well, she's younger than I. So she said, well, you boomers really had, uh, you know, a lot of fighting all your life anyway, so you might be, you must be used to all of this. Well, that is so right. If you remember, we had the great big, during the, the uh, 60s and 70s, we had the great big uh, women's movement, if you know what I mean, and any of you ever burned your bra or any of those, <laughs> join the club, okay? But I mean, we went through a huge women's movement at that time. And when we got down to the 80s and 90s, then we had all the political drama going on. So it's like sometimes we can't win for losing. We've been fighting our whole life, and I know some of us get really tired and want to throw in the towel. But then the rest of us, and I really do feel like 99% of the women right now are fighting aging. I mean, we are on a roll. We want smoother skin. We don't want pigmentation. We don't want texture problems. We want a fir more firmness. Firmness. We want more, you know, tighter elastin going on. We're trying to avoid the surgery by using all these other things and treatments before we have to, if ever, have the surgery. Now, I'm going to put a great big list next to me, and I'm going to have it scroll on down. All right, ladies, look at each and every treatment. Now, this isn't all of them. This is just some of them that I put together. If you've ever had or participated in or put on any one of these products, treatments, or what have you, then girlfriends, you have been fighting aging. You're not just sitting back accepting it. You are doing something about it. Just think of this. No matter what products you try that you can't afford, 
you're still trying it even knowing it may not work entirely for you. But you're going to convince yourself that you do. And, and look at the Retin-A. Retin-A is working. Everybody and their dog is on Retin-A or some sort of retinol because we want to take care of our skin. Now, is it, the, is it really that we want to look younger or do we want to look better or is it both? Let me tell you a little story. This last week was kind of a heartfelt week for me. I have a client that I've had for 100 years, very high-end professional. When I say high-end, she's high in her company. Major, major high. The whole board got together and decided, they didn't tell her this exactly, but they told her that maybe she should go ahead and take early retirement. They were going to give her this enormous, huge bonus for taking early retirement. You know, they just felt like maybe, you, you know, she might have just been getting a little slower at things and letting some things go. Half of everything they said was a bunch of cock if you know what I mean. The other half was, and she heard them say, you're getting older, you're the oldest here in the company, we want to let you go and move up a younger person because they move faster, think faster, and blah, blah, blah. The only problem she has had at all since she's been with this company is um, some arthritis set in, and then, of course, she had uh, a thyroid issue up here. She has Hashimoto's like I do and like a lot of y'all do. And all of a sudden, they think she's ready to be put out to the pasture. Do you see what I'm saying? That's where it's at, girlfriends. And so this is why women try so hard. And it's a fact. And you read it everywhere. You've read the statistics. You've heard all of this on the news and in magazines. They want the younger people moved in because they think that we are getting slower. That we can't think clearly anymore. They think, oh, we, you know, we have some, you know, muscle pain or we have this, or we have that, they're turning it into a very personal thing for us. is like a character flaw, if you will. The most appealing thing right now to companies, I know I, I have VPs all over the country that, that I've coached and everything, and they tell me, they said, we, you know, we don't want anybody old. You know, we're out there and we're picking younger people. So they'll be with us longer and blah, blah, blah. The older ones, you know, they need to go retire. Alrighty then. See what I'm saying? They can tell by your appearance and the way you walk and the way this, this is where they're coming up with this idea that we can't still run an empire or be, a, you know, head chief on a board or anything else. Put the old witch out the pasture or let her go home. Bake cookies, spend time with the grandkids, and be sure and pull that rocking chair out on the front porch. That's the mentality. This is the most incorrect <laughs> thing I've ever heard. And it's just like, oh my gosh, this is discrimination. It truly is discrimination. And as, as a matter of fact, I told my client that I thought she had a very good case, and I did find her a very highfalutin lawyer out there that's pretty famous. He's on the news a lot, and he's taking her case. And it's not that she wants to stay with the company after all this has happened. It's because she can get him back, because that was a personal attack. It's discrimination. You see what I'm saying? Against her age. And let me tell you how old she is. Are you ready for this? She's 58. Mm-hmm. Do we all want to sit back and go, oh, oh, my gosh. Did you know that the majority of the companies are laying off almost before the age of 50 now? If you get past 54, that has been a blessing, and you better thank God. Because the majority of the companies, you know, are finding excuses to get rid of you as soon as you hit that age, especially the menopausal age. I started thinking about all this, and I said, okay, let's just hypothetically, all right, like I'm 16, I'm going to be 70 in September, I get, a lot, get around really good. As a matter of fact, I'm very hyperkinetic. I move fast, I talk fast, I walk fast, I think fast, and I'm saying to myself, oh my gosh, what, we're supposed to stop what we're doing? We can't be happy with who we are and what we're doing and how we're doing it. We've got to have somebody tell us what we're supposed to do and when we're supposed to retire and then some. No, fight back. 
It's all about you. It's what you want. It's your future. It's your happiness. You know what you can handle. You know what you can't handle. And I know sometimes, ladies, you all get tired of the fight. But you know what? We women are tough as old birds, and we are not going to allow this to happen. It is wrong. It is totally wrong. Do we get tired? Everybody gets tired. Okay, everybody, I don't care what age you are. Are we losing it upstairs? Absolutely not, we're not losing it. I will say this, if we're overloaded with stress, we might have to stop and think, or we might repeat ourselves, you know, to ourselves over and over. You see what I'm saying about that? That's not necessarily a sign of old age. Stress can affect anyone. I mean, we need a stress management system. We need good diets. We need exercise, okay? We need to know that we look good and feel good and take care of ourselves. That's all that we need. So this is ridiculous what's happening in the world right now. And it, it's a shame that you ladies don't admit you want to fight. I would fight every inch of the way. I am not about to sit there and look like yesterday's bad news, okay? And I don't want somebody to come up to me and say, Boy, you really look great for your age. You know what I say to that? No. Oh, no. I look great, period. You don't want somebody bringing up that age. Hey, you look so great for your age. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, after we spend, what, $1,000 a month on great skin care, and then, you know, you got to have your hair done. You got to buy makeup. You got to stop. It's how we feel. It's not how we look, per se. But that's how we're being judged in this world today. And, girlfriends, it's not going to change. We've been trying to change this for 100 years, even back in the 60s. We did sit-ins. We did everything in the world. And you girls know what I'm talking about. You we were 60s, 70s. We did everything to have our say-so. So many of us were single mamas supporting children by ourselves. And we did it just fine. Hello. We did a man's job. I wish we'd gotten the man's pay back then because we could have used it, if you know what I mean. But because child support back then was never enough if you even got it. I have a lot of people that never even got a dime. You see what I'm saying? You need a system. You need to stick to it. You've got to be, let's say, take away that image of feeling old. You don't want to. All of you just picked out products and treatments that you've done as you scroll down the list. That's what I do. Oh, I'm not going to sit here and have H-spots all over my hands because what's the first place people look at? Your neck and your hands. Oh, my gosh. And I just work, work, work on my neck and decollete. So what does the doctor tell me the other day? Uh, you want to kind of slow it down on the neck and the decollete? Now you've got this whole big rash come up on your decollete because you had an allergic reaction to a product. And you've exfoliated way too much in that area. And I started like I said, I oh, know. I'm, I'm in a hurry to get it youthful looking. She said, mm -hmm. well, slow it down, sister. Sometimes a lot is too much, if you know what I'm saying. And she's taught me that from the beginning about skincare, you know, because I can get away with four medical grade products every day and at night, and that's it. You know, I sit back and I think to myself, gosh, self, mm. Yeah, and there's so much more we can do out there. Things are just happening around and around. And I do know one thing she told me. She said the other day, she said, okay, you have been screaming and yelling about your gels, and it's still not working, and it's not working enough, blah, blah, blah. She said, let me do a liquid facelift. I, I have shared this with you guys before. My dermatologist is the one that created the liquid facelift in all the magazines. She's been in every magazine there was. She's very good as far as injecting and doing what she wants. She said, I want to inject through here and up to here and pull this up. And, you know, she, with the Voluma. She also said um, that she noticed my top lip was, after all these years of hanging with silicone, it's kind of drooping. And she said, okay, we can go in and we can fill it. I'm going to, since you already have silicone in there, she said, I would go in with Restylane and puff up the top a little bit. So we may be going to do this pretty soon. Actually, the price she quoted me was not outrageous at all. And it's like, hey, 
make them a lot cheaper than plastic surgery. But I will tell you this, this particular volume and everything she's putting in will last a year. So it's go gonna probably run me, if I add in the lips and the cheeks, probably about 2,000 because she, she's going to use a whole syringe here, a whole syringe here, and then puff up the lips. But it'll last all year, hello? <laughs> That's great. I can cut down on some of the products I'm using, if you know what I mean. But I just had to share this with you because there are so many treatments and things we can do out there to stay young looking. We can fight this. We can have a great diet. We can walk every day and get exercise. There's so many exercises we shouldn't do at our age because it's not good for us. We're not going to be deadlifting, and we can't do a lot of crunches anymore because even the doctors say that's not good, not good for your back because it's not going to do it the right way anyway, they said. We don't want to lift heavy weights. You know, we want lighter weights, but we do want some weight training for our bones. And walk, walk, walk till we drop in Pilates. They think that is the greatest thing in any kind of water aerobics. We need that. We need a super healthy diet. We need seven to eight hours sleep at night. You all know what you need. We need to get control of our stress and to calm down because it our age, we get a lot of anxiety too. We just want to keep it down, especially if you have a thyroid problem like I do. Your anxiety can just shoot, you know, out of the roof. But stay on top of your physicals, stay on top of every single thing, and any little treatments you can find and do and you want to try, try it. It makes you feel so good about you, and it's all about making you feel good. You know, in my coaching program, I want to share this. I have this question asked me all the time. Sharon, we notice with your coaching program that you do, your one-on-one -on -one coaching, that you don't go into the material first. The first thing you do is take your girls all out for a makeover from head to toe. That is correct. And let me tell you why. If somebody wants to improve themselves, looks, and insight, if I threw my material at them and says, okay, here, study this at night, answer the questions, do your homework, are you going to be more excited about doing that? Are you going to be more excited about getting the makeup first and, oh my gosh, if this works, and then I study, I'll be whole from head to toe. Exactly. I have tried and proved it. It does better when I make sure they see what they can look like and how they can feel every day of their life. Then they get very anxious and excited to go home and work the program and do their homework. Do you see what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. It's about our feeling good. It's about our being healthy. It's keeping up with our kids, keeping up with our grandkids. In my case, great grandkids. If it means getting any type of procedures, whatever. I, and like I said, it's got dermabrasion, dermaplaning. I don't care what you do. You do you. Whatever you want to do. You're going to feel ten times better. But by golly, do something. Don't just sit there and be depressed and just let your whole life just pass you by. All right, my ladies, that's all I got to say today. It's a fight, not a battle, but you know what? You're not alone in this battle. We're all here to help you, my ladies. Mwah, mwah, mwah. That's all my new summons. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I want all of you to comment down below and let me know what treatments you want to do and what other medical grade maybe you want to do. Tell me the things you have been trying that are working for you and making you feel good about you. To all of my subscribers, I want you to stay sassy, classy, and confident and give me a big thumbs up on this video.